Aiken's Tavern was the location of British General William Howe's headquarters during and after the Battle of Cooch's Bridge. Lodging here for nearly five days, General Howe would have sent orders out to his men and commanded them during the battle and subsequent encampment. The tavern also appears on John Andre's map of the area which he drew just after the battle. But what is the history of Aiken's Tavern? It is unknown when Aiken's Tavern was built. However, by the 1770s, it was owned by a man named John Aiken who envisioned a town near his tavern called Aiken Town. The town would sit at a crossroads that led south to Middletown, east to Newcastle, and west to Elkton, Maryland. The crossroads was 1,200 feet north of the current Route 40 intersection. Remains of the original roadbed can still be seen on the Pencater Presbyterian Church property. Aiken's Tavern was much larger than you might expect. It was described as a two-story brick dwelling, 48 feet in length and 32 feet in breadth each story being 10 feet high. It also had a cellar. The cellar had five rooms, the first floor had four rooms, and the second story had five rooms. So there was a total of 14 rooms at the tavern. There were also eight fireplaces in the tavern to keep people warm in the winter. John Aiken eventually sold the tavern to James Stewart, who was a Philadelphia merchant. James in turn sold the tavern to Matthew Aiken in 1791. Matthew just happened to be John's brother. Sadly, the tavern fell into disrepair and was torn down in 1831. Materials from the tavern were used by the Can family to build a house south of the town. Sadly, that building has also been torn down. Aiken Town was renamed Glasgow, either after Glasgow, Scotland, or a local man named William Glasgow. Today, the site of the tavern is marked with a state marker.